today we're looking at Romans, the fifth chapter, the eighth verse. We do this every program. We take a little piece of the word and look at that piece of the word. Read along with me. But God demonstrates his own love towards us. That's what Terry's talking about. In that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. In your darkest time of rebellion and sin, God loved you. Think about it, brother and sister, in that time when you were ashamed of what you were doing. If you, if you could disappear, you would. If you could erase it, you would. God loved you. Mm-hmm. And his love's not passive. It's aggressive in nature. It's relentless, as I said in the opening. He is coming at us with his love. While we're still sinners, Jesus died for us. Our Father didn't wait for us to do better and to kind of fix things on our own. And then come to help us. He didn't say, well, you get better and I'll come and take care of it. No, 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 no. He took care of it all. Jesus came because of his love. And it is that same love that we lived in today. That's the love of God that you and I are able to live in and not in our own natural love. Well, I wanted to ask you, what does relentless mean? That means you do not give up. And so- Nothing stops a relentless person. You go and... In spite of every circumstance, in spite of every obstacle, you just come at that without any second thoughts. So, and that's, but you were saying that's how God is towards us. Yeah, his love's relentless. His love is relentless, not stoppable, Mm -hmm. goes forward. Just like in a way, you know, in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, it talks about that we fix our eyes on the prize, on the race, and we do not waver, we do not stop even though we might have some obstacles. Oh, you're going to have obstacles, no oh question about goodness. it. Oh, my goodness. Perseverance. Be unstoppable. And sometimes, though, you do get weary. You get tired, and that's okay. God knows he's tired. Jesus went through everything you and I are going through. Mm-hmm. Everything. Every temptation or test he went through, too. So know this. God, the summary of all of what we're talking about, God loves you mm-hmm. without any question. Regardless of what happened in the past, regardless Amen. of what you've done, forget that, race that. God's love is for you and it's, it is totally includes your whole life. And that love prepares for you a place. And that place is for this life. And you know the thing about it is, it's not just for this life. God's love prepares for us a place in eternity. Hmm. We have a place with him in eternity. He said, I, I go to prepare a place for you. That right. where I am, there may you may be also. Right. So his love is that strong. Hmm. Just like you want to gather your kids and your grandkids around you and take care of them, so, so, so do your father wants to gather you around hmm. him and take care of you. But you don't have to wait till you die. It begins today. So let's hmm. let today, let's draw a line in the sand today and say, today I'm going to take a step towards the God that loves me as, as, right. as, as love. Uh, no one can love me the way he is. If you don't know that love, if you don't know that God, call us on the phone number that's on the screen. We want to introduce you to that, to, that, to that Savior, to that God, to that one who loves you with an everlasting, rele- relentless, relentless, relentless love. That's call awesome. us now. That's We'd love to tell you more. If you know Jesus, you've accepted him as your Savior, but you've fallen away from that, you've fallen into the traps of the world, man, that's so easy to do. Mm-hmm. Why don't you make today the day of change? Call us and tell us, I want to get back on track. I want to move forward today. Let today be your starting place. Let's go through the summer, this summer, with a new beginning so that we can see God working in in power in our lives. Amen. Makes me, I'm just thinking of that chorus, which we all may have remembered growing up. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Isn't that a great reminder throughout the day to remember that Jesus does love me and he loves you as well. 